This weekend, Venus will shine bright like a diamond in the night sky. Earth's sister planet will dazzle and many hope to catch a glimpse. And also, the future of Venus's exploration is coming soon with an upcoming mission called the Da Vinci Mission. Here to tell us more is NASA expert Jada Arney. Good morning to you, Jada. Here. So, this weekend, stargazers, planet seekers, how can we spot Venus sparkling in tonight's sky? Yeah, well, it will definitely be sparkling like a diamond. Venus is super bright. It's the brightest thing in the sky after the sun and the moon. So all you need to do is go out in the evening, look to the western sky near around the region where the sun sets, and Venus will be sparkling not too far above the horizon. So be sure to check it out. It's going to be beautiful. That's the best thing about Venus. It's one of the easier ones to spot, but we need to know more about this wonderful planet. And I hear there's an upcoming mission. What can you tell us about the upcoming mission about our sister planet? Absolutely, yeah. Venus um, is actually going to be visited by two upcoming NASA missions, Ooh. the Veritas mission and the Da Vinci mission. I'm a member of the Da Vinci team, and we are so excited to be bringing NASA back to Earth's sister planet. Now, Venus is a really extreme planet. It is a planet with acid clouds. The clouds are made not of water, but of a really concentrated solution of sulfuric acid. Acid. The surface pressure on Venus is 90 times thicker than the surface pressure on Earth. That's about equivalent to being um, about half a mile underwater on Earth. So wow. Pretty extreme. And the surface temperature is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about equivalent to the back of a wood fired pizza oven for the pizza lovers in the audience. All right. So well, we're going to be sending a mission. Yeah, they are into that atmosphere. I, I guess I'm, I'm just baffled by this. Well, for one, what makes it so really unique and difficult to plunge into Venus's atmosphere? And how do you not get cooked like a pizza? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, we only have to survive for about an hour during the descent. Um, so during that descent, we're going to be traveling through the atmosphere. Um, and our probe is made out of a really strong metal called titanium. The outside of the probe is going to heat up during the descent, but the inside of the probe is going to be kept at a comfortable temperature. So our instruments that are located inside of the probe will be kept pretty comfortable. Well, all the power to you. That is an unimaginable adventure, and I'm glad that you're going to be behind the helm. Jada, thank you so much for making our weekend and making us a little bit smarter. <laughs> Thanks so much. Happy to be here. Well, we'll, of course, be right back. Wake Up Charlotte weekend is right back after the break.